Hi, this is Leon from Lindenhurst. Come over here in southwest Suffolk County, Long Island, New York. It is now June the 26th already. This is really crazy. Uh, like I said, before you know it, next Monday, not this Monday, but next Monday, is the 4th of July. And the 4th of July weekend's coming up upon us. And uh, today was a really warm day here. I felt very uncomfortable. The dew point now is 65 in my backyard. Uh, it's 70, 75, 76 right now. Uh, we've been up to 82, but it felt so much warmer here today. Even though we had a sea breeze from the south, it's still warm here. And the ocean temperature in it right now is 60, 68 degrees at 444025, which is 30 nautical miles south of I slip out in the ocean. And yes, the ocean temperatures are warming up, so it's good for the fishing. If you want to go fluking, it's really good. But yeah, um, we don't have much of a, the influence of the uh, ocean well, if the wind off the ocean is starting to get less and less right now with the uh, temperature uh, disparities, um, actually, when it's March, April, and May, the temperatures are in the 40s, and it gets it, it's a lot cooler here. But now that the uh, the ocean is starting to warm up right now, it gets a lot warmer here when we have a south wind, and it makes the thunderstorms easier to get through here from my force field with the maritime air. Actually, it starts to warm up over here, so it's really uh, easier to get thunderstorms. But uh, like I said, it's going to be a warm night tonight. Temperature is going to be about 67 degrees, and uh, temperatures were close to 90 degrees or 90 in the city, uh, actually north and west of us and south of us uh, inland. And uh, like I said, it's just a beautiful day today if you like this kind of weather. And I'm just drinking myself a nice Guinness beer here in the backyard again. Very good, very delightful. And then tomorrow, as you go to work tomorrow, uh, we're going to have increasing clouds tonight. And we have a cold front that's coming through here uh, during Monday afternoon. And we can see some showers and maybe a couple of thunderstorms here. Uh, it's going to be hard to say with the timing. I'm going to say probably around here in Lindenhurst, uh, Central Long Island, Melville, uh, Western Suffolk. I want to say probably about 1 and 2 o'clock in the afternoon we can get some storms over here. Heavy downpours, but uh, SPC does not have us in for a marginal risk or anything. Just general thunderstorms. So the main uh, the main threat would be some heavy rain and downpours. And we're going to start getting cooler, uh, less humid. Actually, on Tuesday and Wednesday, with temperatures going to be in the uh, mid to upper 70s, which is going to be nice. So the dew points and the humidity is going to drop after uh, Monday night. And... Uh, it's going to start to warm up on uh, Thursday and Friday into the 80s. And we have another cold front coming through here on Saturday. And I would think that's going to be a perfect setup for uh, the 4th of July uh, day. On, on uh, 4th of July on Monday, it should be nice and uh, clear and dry. But Saturday, we have some showers and thunderstorms. And they could be maybe more of a nuisance with the thunderstorms on Saturday. And Sunday should hopefully clear out. And um, unless it doesn't stall the front... And we hopefully that Sunday shouldn't be too bad, but Monday will be the best day for Fourth of July weekend as of now. So this is Leon from Lindenhurst, and I watched the Joe and Joe Weather Show. What a great show they have. They have a really good show on uh, on Sunday at 11 o'clock in the morning. They were really good. And uh, it was really uh, really nice to see that, uh, that the show it was a great show. And uh, that's about it. The record high temperature for today was 93 degrees back in... I believe it was 1998, 1999, and 2003. And the record low temperature for this date was 50 degrees back in 1980, 1986, I believe. So there you go. And I'm looking at some nice, uh, a nice sunset tonight. It sets at 8:29 p.m. And days are getting, days are long right now, and they're going to start getting shorter. And that's about it. So the, usually the uh, warmest part of the year is. Uh, the fourth and the fourth week of July into right in early August, and then we usually have a downtrend. That's for sure. So this is Leon from Lindenhurst, and uh, that's about it. That's all I have to say. Just checking out the old tomatoes and the cucumbers over here. We're doing really good. We're doing pretty good over here. The tomatoes are getting big. I had to put the cages in, of course. And uh, I got some more tomatoes over here and in the back. And uh, yep, some broccoli. Had to put some uh, chemicals on that because they have uh, cabbage flies and they really do a good job on the uh, eating away the uh, the leaves over here. So I put that on before and I got to get myself a cage for this tomato plant. And that's about it. I keep saying that's about it, but I keep talking and talking, right? So this is Leon from Lindhurst enjoying a nice a summer weekend.
Ah, very good, very delightful. And I got myself some nice bratwurst and some bratwurst and knockwurst from the Forest Pork Store in Huntington. They're a special, uh, they, they specialize in German food. They're a German deli. I'm going to put that on the grill when I got some Bavarian sauerkraut. So have a great night. Talk to everybody later. Be safe. And thanks for this Iron Maiden shirt, Bob Beal, that I went to school with. I still have it. It's great. And uh, thank you. Talk to everybody later. Have a great night.